Hi I'm Mark, this is Mark's Tech Vlogs on YouTube and today I'm going to bring you guys a review of a DigitNow video capture card. Now if you're my kind of age, you'll remember that before we had DVDs and streaming, we had VHS tapes. And these went into video recorders. And before we had HDMI, we had AV and SCAR cables. And for the most part, we forget about these things until you actually want to take something from one of those old tapes and digitize it. And I found myself recently wanting to take a load of these that my dad had captured when we were little and turning them into digital footage. These tapes captured all sorts of things on a camcorder when I was growing up, but also included things like some vintage footage of theme parks in the UK in the 1990s. And I wanted to use some of that for a project I've started called Mark's Parks, which is all about theme parks. There's a YouTube channel and a website, and I'll put some links below if you're interested in that. That means I needed one of these devices that I'm going to be reviewing today from DigitNow. And since purchasing it, I've been using it for hours. So this device costs around £17, and it pretty much comes with everything you're going to need apart from a video player. I found a video player on eBay for about £17 as well. In the box with this device, you get the device itself, which connects via USB-A. You also get a SCART connector and a composite video cable. This is great because it means you've got everything you need to get up and running. So let's talk about spec. So this device can basically capture anything that those cables can plug into. It also works with Mac or PC. It's worth noting that you are going to need your own software, however. So if you use Windows, you might want to use something like OBS. Now I use a Mac, so I've just been using QuickTime. I've then used Handbrake, which is another free application to drastically reduce that video size, because QuickTime captures video in a massive size. This device will convert video in H.264 format, and it supports NTSC, SE Cam, PAL and PAL60 video. If you wanted to, you could even just use it to capture audio using the kind of red and white parts of the cable. It's worth noting that it exposes both a video card and an audio card to your computer. So let's talk about using it, and I'm coming at this as a Mac user. I would test it with Windows, but I don't have a Windows machine anywhere, and I actually haven't used Windows in about five years, and I've been using Mac for 20 years as my main machine. And using it with Mac is as simple as plugging it in via USB and plugging the other end into your video recorder. From there, you open your application of choice, so for me, that's QuickTime, and hit New Movie Recording. You make sure you've got the inputs for the audio and video selected, then you hit Play on your video recorder and record in QuickTime. When the tape ends, you hit Stop. And one thing I have found in testing is you can quite easily record a four hour videotape straight onto it without it crashing. Now I use an M1 Mac Mini with 512 gigabytes of RAM, so it is a reasonably powerful Mac, but it's not the most powerful one out there. One thing I have found is that QuickTime struggles if you're trying to trim a large file like that, so I'd recommend saving it and then doing that. In fact, the best way to do it is probably to save it, use Handbrake to shrink that file down, and then edit in your editor of choice and trim it that way. So something like iMovie or Final Cut Pro. What this does mean, if you ignore the Final Cut Pro part of that sentence, is that everything can be achieved with free software, which is fantastic. So one thing I always ask in my reviews is, are there any downsides? And in all honesty, in my experience of using this with my Mac, no. It works well, it has a pretty good frame rate, and as you've seen throughout this video, it captures video in the sort of quality you'd expect from a video from the 90s. And this is probably the perfect device if you do want to digitize some of your old tapes at a pretty reasonable cost. If you do want to pick one up, I'll put a link below, and I'll also link the software that I've talked about. If you've got any questions, stick them below as well, and I'll answer those for you. This is something I paid for myself, and so I'll quite happily help you guys out. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon.